Our Martha Jefferson HealthWise report, the hospital is trying to prevent the risk of falls for patients. As CBS 19's Stephanie Satchel tells us, they're putting a system in place to measure fall risk and some safety measures to keep patients from falling too. Anyone can be at risk for a fall if they're patient at the hospital. According to nurse manager Abby Denby, it's a serious matter. Injuries can range from a bruise to death. People are here to get better and we certainly don't want them falling and having, you know, you can have a severe injury from falling, whether it be a hip fracture um, and it will set you back in your recovery. Denby says they've seen all kinds of falls, most of them taking place when a patient goes to the bathroom. It's very important. We, we work very hard for privacy while you're in the hospital, um, but it's important for everybody to know that safety trumps privacy. So when we take you to the bathroom, it's not uncommon for us to stay with you while you are in the bathroom because so many falls are related to people getting up and trying to go to the bathroom. They've already put several measures in place to identify at-risk patients like having them wear a yellow wristband, yellow socks, and having an alarm sound off if they try to get out of the bed. But starting next month, they'll break down the risk levels with a new ranking system. Nurses will complete an assessment to determine if a patient is at a low, moderate, or high risk for falls. And they look at things like your mobility level, have you fallen previously, your age, what medications are you taking. Denby says having a level system will allow a more individualized approach to fall prevention, keeping patients out of harm's way and allowing them to recover from the original medical issue that first brought them to the hospital. Stephanie Satchel, CBS 19 News.